January 18, 2018. I'm Lai Yu, an internet of Payo vets. Today, this 31 month old female Siamese cat is being discharged. She can now walk on her own. But what happened to her? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Cats falling down Singaporean apartments. Day 1, December 1st, 2017, Singapore. The windows of a second story apartment were left open. Chased by another cat, she fell out of the bathroom windows, fracturing her left leg. Diagnosis. To see exactly where the fracture is, we take an X-ray. Look, this is Vet 1's X-ray on day of 4 on December 1st from 2nd floor, showing the left femoral fracture. The femur is the thigh bone. Cat, female, 31 month old. Let us hear from the vet. Of course, we have to check the whole leg. Although X-ray shows the fracture is here, but let us check. So first of all, we, we do by palpation first. You can see any swelling or not. When there's no swelling, then you know and there's no pain here. So it's good that the vet didn't give painkillers. So now we do palpation. We will know exactly whether, if there's no pain and swelling, that means it's, uh, this part is not affected. Even though, it, we, even if dark x-ray, we will know because of observation, we observe. No swelling and palpation, no pain first. Yeah. Because if, if uh, there are other areas that will be painful, Okay, so now this part to the hop, there's no pain. Now we go up. Ah, this yeah, is yeah. where the pain oh. is. And this is the the knee joint, right? Huh? Knee joint, and then we go upwards. Okay, by right, this one shouldn't be painful unless there's fracture. But, okay, the cat might be. This is the, this is the tibia, this is not the bone. The fem femoral bone is the one fractured, which we can see on the x-ray. I'll show the x-ray. You can see there's no swelling. Now the fracture is at here. This is the femoral head. That means the thigh bone. Right? And this part is not, really, not very well done. By right, there should be a good x-ray here. Now, but anyway, you can see the femoral head has a, has a fracture. And I show the owner that there are other fragments there. Eh? The one here, which you will remove on uh, surgery. And this one is a useless fragment. And uh, this part, we will put the pin, and then this pin will go through, and then it will tr go through the head, and then after that we push it upwards to the hip there. And so these two, bo these two well, broken pieces will join together as a one straight piece. Okay, now we see the other view. That's the other view. Uh, a distal one-third femur head. That means the shaft is distal one-third fracture. This is considered midline, and this is the proximal one third. One third, proximal one third, middle one third, and distal one third. So now, now I do the uh, fraction extension. There's no pain there, no pain. No. Okay, then now I, I extend the hop. No pain, it means no fracture, no dislocation. Abduct and abduct. Okay, now, now this is the dangerous part. This here, you go up. We go up here. It's four days already. After it's falling down, definitely there's swelling here. Okay, painful there's swelling. And go up. Now you can see actually. Yeah? You can see the the displaced uh, from the X-ray. You can see this part, this femur is forward, and the other one is backwards. Uh, so this is where this is the thigh bone, the femoral bone. No? Now we go to the hip. The hip will be here. Now, this cat is quite a good cat. Actually, most of them will just scratch me. The hip is here. So, looks like there is no hip dislocation. So, actually, already confirmed uh, a fracture. Day 5 Surgery. This the one third femoral shaft fracture. A pin and plaster of Paris is placed and will be kept on for the next 8 weeks. The pin unites the fractured fragments and protrudes to stabilize the fragments. The knee joint is still able to flex and extend. The cast was placed as the fracture is too close to the femoral head 
so pinning is insufficient to stabilize it. Home nursing. Now, the e collar has to be kept on, as the cat would otherwise lick the cast, wetting it. She might also bite it off. The cast must be kept dry using bandages. Review by the vet must be done every two weeks to check on the cat's progress. The cast is to be removed in six weeks, ideally. Take note that if the paw is swollen, the cat must be brought to the vet immediately. Week 7. Removal of cast and pin. The sticky bandage is removed, followed by the cast being sawed open using an electric saw. There is some infection, which is normal and can be treated with antibiotics. The pin is removed as well. This is what the pin looks like. The cat is now able to walk on her own. She is free to go home but must wear an e-collar to prevent her from licking and irritating her left leg. In conclusion, since this fracture is so near the joint, the outcome for normal walking and jumping upon full recovery is not as good. She is likely to suffer from arthritis joint pain. This way of getting injured seems to be fairly common. Let us take a look at some other cases treated by Topayo Vets. Case 1. In 2015, a male, two-year-old cat fell from the fifth floor, causing multiple right femoral fractures. Case 2. In 2016, a one-year-old cat fell three stories and fractured his right hind leg. 3,500 was quoted for treatment of the tibia and fibula fractures. Case 2. Post-surgery. Case 3. In 2017, a female, 4 months old kitten fell down from the apartment. This caused a right femoral fracture, a Salter Harris fracture type 2. 4 weeks after surgery, the cast was removed as the paw was swollen. 10 weeks after surgery, the pin is removed. The union of fractures, as seen by the arrow, is excellent. Since injuries in this manner are so common, advice from the vet is to wire net windows, preventing such incidences. Especially in Singapore, where over 80% of Singaporeans live in high-rise apartments, this is extremely important to pet owners. For more of such educational videos, do go to topayovets.com videos.htm Thank you for watching.